Good evening, friends, and uh, welcome to Crime Time with Duty Ron and Ed Wallace. This is not going to be a true crime video. This is uh, a video that I wanted to never bring to you guys. Ed and I are devastated. Our entire community is devastated on the passing of our producer, our friend, Joshua H. Uh, you guys know him as the behind the scenes guy. He has contributed thousands and thousands of his hours, man hours to improving and creating our website and doing so much work behind the scenes for us. Um, I, can't, I can't even tell you the pain uh, that, that I have endured in, in the loss of Josh. It's just shocking. Ed, uh, thank you for being here. I know you traveled a lot today and you and I have been speaking all week. And for those of you in the in the chat, we're going to explain to you everything that happened. Uh, I will explain it to you. Uh, but Ed, I just wanted to go to you and and, and get your thoughts. And um... yeah, it's a tragic day. Um, but even in this tragedy, our good friend Josh is uh, helping others uh, by donating his uh, organs um, to help those that uh, need those specific organs. So even in his death, he's still helping people. You know, well said, Ed. Uh, once I had a communication uh, with his uncle earlier in the week um, that just passed. And when his uncle Mike uh, communicated with me and told me that he was an organ donor, I just said to myself, not only was he helping us while he was here, now he's helping uh, others who need those organs. And, and you know, Josh is uh, a true hero, 37 years young. Um, it's just, just a shock to this whole community and like i said he was not just only the producer and the guy behind the scenes he was a friend to everybody here and this is what makes it so difficult is that the the amount of love that he had for crime time with duty ron and enhancing this show and and, and the website and everything that he did i i can't even tell you guys in the chat and and for those of you who hang out with us on the members only and you see Josh in there joking around and talking with all of us. Um, he really, his heart was in this in live streaming and not only did he help us, he was helping police off the cuff because I introduced him to bill and uh, you know, Sergeant bill and detective Phil. He helped our friend Tori Hartman uh, from earlier on. He helped Joey Brooklyn. He created his website. So, you know, gone way, way too soon. And, you know, it's a sad reminder, Ed, and, and I know you, you can vouch for this, that life is fragile. Life is fragile. I mean, you lost your brother. You, we've lost many along the way. And, um, you know, it, it just, when I got the word on Tuesday night before we went live that he was in grave condition, I just fought with myself to go live with you uh, because my heart wasn't in it. I was just crushed. But I did it, and I honored the wishes of Josh's family. Josh's family is very private, as, as he was. And they asked me not to say one word. Um, so we honored that. And I'm going to get into what happened to Josh um, in a few minutes. But we have you know, so many people who mm -hmm. want to join us and join us in prayer and join us in rejoicing you know, um, with the loss of Josh. You know, We have to really realize that this is this is a life learning lesson for all of us is that you know you never take people for granted you never know if the last communication could be very right here right this one right here you don't know what's what's coming for tomorrow amen i mean when we first when i first joined you ron he was the guy that you know helped me through all the technical stuff with uh with this and you know stream yard the microphone the camera the positions everything he was the, he was there for me and you know pulled me through uh, to get me to where I am today. Absolutely. And he did that not only for you, he did it for me. There was been many nights that I spent with him hours on end where I was threatening to smash computers and smash cameras and microphones. And Josh would be like the calming voice. He'd be like, no, no, do it on. Let's, let's just work through it. Just, just let me, let me take care of this. And um, just a, such a patient loving guy and you know he loved online community he he was not just 
here on YouTube with me and, and helping, you know, other other people. He was on Twitch and he was gaming and he used to live stream himself. Uh, I met Josh in 2016. And um, so it's been seven years and he was 30 years old when I met him. And, you know, he looked to me, I think, as not only just a friend, but as a father figure. He used to call me boss. And um, I, I got to tell you, you know, Thursday, uh, Tuesday night when we got the word and, and I'll tell you how, you know, folks, I'll tell you how this all unfolded. So I was speaking with Josh um, right after the Halloween. So it was the week of the 1st of November and it was on a Wednesday and he texted me and he said, Ron, uh, boss, this is what he said, boss, uh, I'm not feeling good. I got body aches. Uh, I, I, I got a fever. I'm not, I'm not feeling good. So he was giving me a heads up on that Wednesday. I think it was November 1st or 2nd. Um, Halloween was Tuesday. Yeah, so it was November 1st. And and he was just telling me that, look, I'm not going to be able to, you know, do the things I was doing because I'm not feeling good. And I, I told him, I said, I'm just coming off that. Uh, you got probably what I have, the fevers, the body aches. I thought I had COVID, you know, 14 days it took me to, to get better. So we chalked it up to that he wasn't feeling good and he was giving me the the heads up like, hey, I'm not going to be readily available. And then Friday night, just two days later, he said, the good news is, is that the body aches went away, but I have acid reflux. And he asked me, what do I take from World Trade Center for my acid reflux? And I told him, it's like Nexium over the counter. Mm -hmm. um, and then that was Friday and that was the last time I talked to him uh, uh, by text message. And um, we usually have every Sunday a, like a, a team meeting with just me and Josh, and I try to give them the rundown of what the next week is going to be like, like how many lives we're going to do, or what I got planned, or what I'm, you know, you and I are uh, having the hopper, so to speak. So when he didn't show up to that, I started texting him, and it, it wasn't unusual, and, and I knew that he was sick, so um, I texted him on on. Um, Monday, for Sunday after he didn't show up, I texted him. He didn't answer. I texted him again Monday. And I told him you and I are going to go live Monday night, but I wasn't feeling it, remember? And I canceled with you on Monday. And then he still didn't answer me. And then Tuesday, we I decided we were going to go live and he didn't answer me again. So I called his phone like three times, voicemail, voicemail, voicemail. So eight o'clock, I scheduled our live stream and, um, at 7.15, his uncle sent me a message on dutyround.com, the very website that Josh created. And it said, Josh, urgent, please call me. This is his uncle. I got in touch with him, and he told me that he found Josh unresponsive on Sunday night in very bad shape in his room that he shared in his home. And his uh, Josh was living with his uncle and his aunt. And um, they rushed him to the hospital, and um, he never gained consciousness. They put him in an induced coma, uh, medically induced coma, and it was just praying. Uh, and and so since Tuesday at seven o'clock, I, you, know, you, you, myself, and just limited other people that were close in the in the family, in, in this online family, uh, were the only ones that knew about it because the family asked me. Specifically, please do not put out personal information about Josh because we don't know. We were hoping and we're praying that he comes out of this medically induced coma. Um, and it just never happened. And his blood pressure never got high enough. He, he, he had kidney and um, liver failure. Um, and they wanted to do, um, they wanted to do like a slow, um, dialysis, but they weren't able to do that. And I'm condensing this whole story to make it, um, just presentable here. Um, so the, the neurosurgeons, the neuro, the neurologists who look for brain activity, they did all those tests and there was no brain activity and he was deemed, um, you know, there was nothing that that any doctor could do for him, and they had to wait for his mom to fly in from another state and make that decision whether they were going to keep him on life support or pull the plug. And that's when Wednesday, and, uh, I believe Wednesday into Thursday, we discovered and found out uh, that Josh was an organ donor. 
he clicked the box for, you know, check in on your license. Do you want to be an organ donor? Yes. So they needed to keep him on that life support for 70, up to 72 hours to harvest his organs. And that's what happened today. Um, and 11, 11 and Josh went home, went home to God and donated all of his, all the organs that could be used um, to save other people's lives. So in his death, he became a hero and, and I salute him. I, I love him. I miss him dearly. This channel will never be the same. This community will never be the same without Josh. And that is the condensed uh, so story of what we went through. And it was really difficult. And I'm going to tell you, Ed and I, we didn't talk much this week, but Ed knew what was going on and we text back and forth. I it, it, it hurt me tremendously not to be able to tell you guys what was going on, the public. But I honored what his family wanted me to do. And once his uncle told me today that you could go ahead and tell the online community, then here we are. So just shocking uh, to say the least. And and I could see from all the people in the chat how much love we they have for Josh. And, and that's a beautiful thing because he's looking down at this right now. And as a matter of fact, Ed, you could tell the audience we had a ton of technical difficulty tonight. And it was just... <laughs> It was Josh haunting us, <laughs> saying that, you know, we can't do this show without him. And, uh, you know, everybody's uh, microphones were causing echoes and, and so forth. It was hilarious. Um, but the, I think it was Josh's last joke on us. But, you know, we love him. We love you, Josh. And I know you're in a far better place than we are right now. And uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Amen. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. um, I have a couple of things that I want to play um, a couple of little short clips from Josh uh, when we would do our members only early on. This one is over two years old, uh, but we were testing some new software and some new programs. And thank you to everyone who's given super chats and everything here. Uh, I'm going to do a fundraiser for Josh's family, um, you know, with the help with offset meta. Uh, maybe he might have incurring medical costs it's very expensive, as you know, Ed, to be on life support and mm -hmm. he was in the hospital since last Sunday. So, um, and funeral and, courts aren't cheap either. Yeah. I was, yeah. Just getting to that and to offset some of the costs for his funeral expenses. And, you know, I know that Josh, from no, being around him for seven years, he didn't have a, a corporate job. He didn't have, he was a, um, you know, he was like, uh, an independent contractor freelance and, yeah so he did a lot of freelance work and uh, with freelance health insurance i don't know I, you know i don't know what he had or or, or has um but i want to help his uncle and his aunt and his mother and i'm going to be sending on behalf of all of us obviously a donation to um josh's family on behalf of crime time with duty ron in the community but i'm going to ask people to hold off on sending any super chats for support. If you want to support um, my PayPal and, and Venmo and Cash App, those would be the ways to support Josh and his family. Um, but I, I'm going to do a whole nother live stream on that. Um, that's not what this is about. I want I want you guys to see uh, some of the behind the scenes stuff. So I'm going to play this little piece right here. And this is me and Josh just messing around on a members only live. And I started having technical difficulties, which is a shocker, right? So you see, he always had his professional, um, his professional picture on, and and he would rarely engage his um, his his uh, camera. He did. I I did see Josh many times, uh, me and him one on one, but he was a, a private person. He didn't like the limelight, and he didn't want the limelight. He wanted to be that guy who was behind the scenes tweaking and fixing. And like you said, he helped you. He helped Joey. He helped, he helped any, he helped anybody who needed help. And that's what was great about Josh. But let's listen in. This is from two years ago. Um, hold on, let me move this. Um, is, this is Josh taking over the show. He's, he's one of his funnier moments. First time. I think, I think this time it took, but I'm not sure.
That worked. We're in. We're live. Members only. I couldn't hear them. I mean, it doesn't... Welcome, everybody. Welcome to my show. The <laughs> Joshua Show, where I have my special guest, Duty Ron. <laughs> Josh isn't doing a takeover. Um, but, and I don't even see, like, it's not showing me the amount of time that we've been live, which is something I'm used to seeing. Um, show chat. Hey, Gemma. Oh, Jen's here. All right, so we're just testing. Right away, Jennifer Payton comes in. It's like, hello. <laughs> so it was, that is just one of the funnier moments. There's like five or six in that um, in that live that I'm going to play. Um, he, it, he had a good radio voice. He had a tremendous radio voice, and mm -hmm. but he knew his stuff, and that's what was great about it. When I would panic, and I would be like, Josh, how how, how come my stream deck's not working? How come my my soundboard's not working? He'd be like. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. We'll 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 take care of this. So he was the calming voice, you know, um, for for all of us. Um, and that's what was fantastic about him is if there was a problem, he would as we were live, he would come in and he had complete administrative rights into uh, Crime Time with Duty Ron. And 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 again, I don't think I we'll ever be able to replace or find somebody like Josh, because Josh was so dedicated to it like it could be two three o'clock in the morning and he would his time and he would be doing stuff behind the scenes and that's what made him unbelievably um just an unbelievable asset to to anybody that that live streams and <sighs> so let me look at the chat people are asking what exactly did he did pass from uh i don't have confirmation of it but um from what my conversations were with his family, it was kidney and liver failure. Um, and and again, I don't, I didn't know what his, you know, extracurricular activities were. I never asked. It was always a professional conversation with Josh. But we did, you know, have many talks. And I know that he did like to have drink here and there. Um, but I don't know, uh, you know, specifically. And I know that's question that everybody wants answered but i don't know that as of yet and i want to just say that we're we're here to honor his life tonight and there will always be a chance for me to find out more of that dylan is a, a good friend from periscope he was a great periscope mod as well yes that's that's where that's where i met josh he was one of my uh one of my subscribers one of my um what do they call him followers on periscope so um yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, again, like all of these questions, liver failure due to infection, we don't know. I, it's, he just passed away today, you know, so um, we, we're not 100% sure exactly what, you know, what, what it was. Uh, but Lane, uh, Lane too says, I used to talk to him all the time. I'm in total shock. We're all, we're all in shock. Uh, and thank you for being a friend being a friend to Josh and 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 this community here uh, from Periscope. So there's t tons of people, Ed, in the chat from Periscope. Um, I'm going to go to, uh, we have a lot of people hanging out and waiting. Tony, Tony D and, um, and uh, Dave Rader. Dave Ra thank you. Dave Rader from EquiSearch. They are out on a search. They actually completed a search in Ohio and I see them there. Uh, I asked them if they can get to a quiet place. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that they're at a quiet place. I want to just get a couple of words from them on Josh, on Josh's passing. Tony, thank you for joining. Hey, guys, how are you? Good, good. Um, can you hear us good? Yeah, I hear you fine. I hear, we hear okay. you fine. Okay, great, great, great. Um, it's uh, we're, in, we're in my truck now. And uh, Dave, you know how big Dave is. He's, he's kind of sticking back. But he wanted us to come on and... Uh, give our condolences to you yep. um, for Josh. And like I said earlier, when we talked, um, you know, give, uh, you know, give everybody love while you can, because they're not, you know, they're not guaranteed tomorrow uh, for sure. Um, but he, he, he wanted us to uh, come on and give our condolences from EquiSearch to you guys and not just a loss from uh, duty Ron community, but, you know, um, a loss to everybody here. You know his family and friends and, and everybody as well so um he just wanted us to come on and and, and do that in in his behalf 
Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot. And I know that, you know, the technical difficulties that we joked about, they were, they were real when you guys were inside. You guys couldn't hear us. So yeah, um, yeah. tell Big Dave um, that this community appreciates everything that you and the whole team does to find the missing. So Tony and, and the crew down there, we love you guys. Stay safe. And, um, and, and thank you. Thank you for being here tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Be safe out there tomorrow. All right. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. See you guys. All right. Take care. Thank you. All right. There they go. Equisearch uh, Midwest. That's the team. Um, I want to go to the chat because, you know, this is what this is about. I mean, everybody's, you know, everybody wants to know, um, you know, I, basically what I told you guys is all that I know. Um, the organ donation is huge. That's a huge thing. Um, in my eyes, you know, Josh in his death is saving other people's lives. Now we don't know what, you know, what organs that they were able to you know, take from him, but whatever it is, it's a, it's a blessing. And, it's a and gift. yeah, it's a gift. It's a blessing and a gift. So, so many people are in the chat. I want to thank everyone for being here. Um, this is, I, I, I'm telling you, I, I I didn't think that I was going to be able to get through this, but something happened when I hit that go live button. I got an, a, an unbelievable amount of strength. And it's, I, I really believe that it was Josh helping me out and, and God, uh, because I really, I was very scared to do this. I felt Ed that I was not going to be able to do this without breaking down. And I don't know how to describe it, but uh, an unbelievable calming has come over me uh, when I hit that go live button and it took away all of the anxiety that I had. And I had a tremendous amount of it. Tremendous. Well, come hella high water, I was getting here and getting yeah. on. Uh, and, you know, folks, you don't know, but earlier today I was down at my house in Jersey um, doing some stuff to, for the winter. And, uh, and I didn't, you know, I was getting anxious too, very anxious because I did not want Ron uh, to go on the show without me. And, um, so, you know, by the grace of God, my wife and I banged out everything we needed and raced back up to the Garden State Parkway. And I got home and I notified Ron, hey, I'm ready. In fact, I beat him into the studio. <laughs> that was fantastic because, I, albeit I said to you, I, I got this and I'm going to do it. I really no, no. didn't have it. I didn't have it. And um, my I, wife. I owe it to Josh. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Ed, for being here. Hey, I want to play this. Uh, it's only two minutes. It's um, a video of organ, uh, an organ donor um, at the hospital. And this is essentially what Josh went through, because the reason I know this is that his uncle, uh, when he when Uncle Mike called me today, he said there was he called it a salute um, for the organ donor. And he basically said the hallway in the hospital was lined with the hospital workers and healthcare workers, and they gave Josh a salute when he was taken to a different floor to have the procedure done of his organs removed. Um, I want to play this because I want the folks to see it. And this is obviously not Josh here that we're showing, but this is going to give a, a good idea to everyone what organ donation and what they do, uh, how they salute. So let's play this. Um, it, it was moving to see this. Thank you. 
I, I thought that was a beautiful tribute to give us a little bit of a, a look into what Josh did today. Um, you got me crying, Ron. Yeah. Damn. You know, um, <sighs> yeah, tough one, right? Yeah. Um, I got Joey Brooklyn. Uh, Diane B was here. I guess she bailed out on us. Uh, Maddie Boy Sully and Kristen is here. Um, I, I guess I'm going to start with the. I'm going to add Joey in because Joey's been here from the beginning. Um, he's the one who pushed me to start on YouTube. Uh, and Josh and Joey have been with me the same amount of time. We've all been friends seven years. So Joey Brooklyn, how are you, brother? Thank you for being here. Uh, and thank you for being, you're, you're muted, by the way. Your mic is muted. Thank you for um, keeping the secret the, this whole week. It was a devastating, agonizing week for us, right? Thank you, Joe. Um, it's really tough. I just want to say my heartfelt condolences go to Josh's family. It's tragic. Friends, I just want to say that in this tragedy that happened to Josh, he's a hero. I know today is Veterans Day, and we all salute our veterans, but Josh, is, Josh today is my hero. He did something that I probably wouldn't do, but now I have second thoughts on actually being an organ donor myself because of how selfless, how kind how compassionate, how how Josh was as a, as a human being, as an individual. And I could tell you from being a live streamer on Periscope a long time ago in 2015, that's where I met Josh. And Ron, you met him too. It was like 2016 when you started on Periscope. You know, he used to come in my live streams all the time and support me. And, you know, I just knew him as Josh. That's all I knew. And then I was inquisitive and I found him that he was from Oakland, California, and that he used to do live streamings, walking to walking the dog, walking to work, walking to the store. He would go on, but he would never show his face. But that's okay, because it wasn't about showing your face. It's about the human being that Josh was. He was a such a kind, compassionate human being. And you want to know something? I don't say this much, but to me, today on Veterans Day, he's my hero, and. He selflessly supported us. He was such a techie. He was such an individual that cared about people. He was, when it came down to it, you know, he wanted to support you. He loved you, Ron. He certainly loved you. He cared about us. He cared about you and I. He cared about Pete, Florida Pete. He cared about the people that are friends that we made on YouTube. And I know I pushed you hard to come on YouTube and you didn't, at that time you were like, I'm done, but I'm so grateful that you did that because you're also a humanitarian. You too, Ed, you are one too, because you come out here and you don't have to, you come out here and you push it forward. You teach people how to be safe. You teach people how to, you know, watch where you're going, watch, stay away from crime because this is going to happen. And then from that true crime community came and embraced you and you're also you guys are my heroes too and certainly josh wins the gold medal today because it's for what he has done for all of us he made me think he made me wonder and he he was so excited and happy of your success he was he was selfless he just wanted you to be the biggest youtuber out there and he pushed us forward and he pushed me too forward. And he reached out many times to you talking about me, about what am I doing with my channel? And I wasn't just, I wasn't into it anymore. Live streaming. I just gave up on it. But with your gift and his generous gift, he created my website. And from there on, I said, you know what? I think it's time that I come back live streaming because to me, live streaming wasn't about money. It was always about bringing people together in, in harmony, to be inclusive, to love and respect one another and to have a family and to have, you know, 
a, a community of loving people who care about life and to be all part of such a wonderful community. I know I'm repeating myself, but I just, um, I just salute to Josh, uh, salute to Josh today. And that's basically what I have to say. And the last thing that I want to say is that the last message that I got from Josh was last week sometime on a Thursday. He said, listen, I'm here to help you. Um, you know, I want to start your memberships. I want to, I want to create your, your icons, your emojis. I want to start you off. I want to see you get as, I want to see you grow. I want to see you do well. He said, he said, and he also said this, he says, I'm sorry. I haven't been feeling well. He said, please forgive me that I haven't helped, you know, anytime soon. It's been a long time. I know, but I still want to help you. And just very sad, yeah. very sad today. Joe, you hit so many great points because the live streaming and the community that we built is all about helping each other. And that's what Josh did. He just didn't just help me. He helped all of us. And look, I even had just recently a TikTok sensation, the girl, Julie from Canada. He helped, <coughs> he helped her. She asked for help and he said, yeah. sure, I'll help you. So he never turned anybody away. And you know what? Josh was very, very generous with his time and his love. And that's what I really in, enjoyed most about our time together is that he was inclusive for every, he was available to everybody and he did not exclude anybody from anything. And that's what made him a special person is that he was like, yeah, let's do this. We're, we're, you know, I want to see you all succeed. And, um, and, you know, we, we come to find out that, you know, again, tomorrow isn't promised and, and here we are uh, tonight. Uh, yeah. grieving the loss of the the backbone he really look everything that you see here folks this background that says crime time with duty ron the banners all of these all of these noises and sirens and <laughs> this was all john it's all him he did yep. all that um and, it, and it, it, it didn't come easy ed ed you know i used to tell you how many hours i would spend with this guy and joey the tests that we would do and the, the, that video oh that hours and hours ron hours yeah you know even you it uh, could be one o'clock in the morning you have to get and the next day you had to go to work and do your own thing you know just he, he would just put so much time in. you would call you would call me text me say could you jump in i, I want you to listen i want you to hear right. you know is, is my audio okay is my video okay and josh would be there very calmly very subtly he was great he was he was yeah. fantastic fantastic Thank you, Joe. Um, so Kristen's in. I want to, when she gives the thumbs up, I want to add her. We have, I think she has a, did she share that video with you, Ed? Did you, were you able to? Own she tried to, and I, I didn't receive it. Okay. All right. No problem. Um, so I, I, there'll be more. We're going to be doing another, uh, another live stream on how we can all help uh, pay it forward and help Josh's family. Uh, with his loss. And so on that live stream, we'll, we'll play that video. Um, but tonight here, it, again, it's, it's about him. I want to go to the chat um, and say thank you to everyone. Jeff and his wife, um, you know, I, I spoke with him a couple of days ago and, and privately um, gave him a little bit of the lowdown of what was happening. Uh, thank you for your support and your love. You and I, um, your wife, are, are just tremendous, tremendous, great Americans. Pete Pranzo and Chella, um, I see the support in the chat and everybody in this chat. Um, Josh is watching, and you guys are nothing but class, class citizens. There's Lady, Lady. She she corrected me. Remember we were calling a lady. She was like. No, no, no. Uh, that's our friend from Canada, Joe. Um, oh, Liddy. Liddy. Yep. Liddy. She's there. Uh, Kim Allison, she's here sending prayers and all Thank the you, messages. Kim. Um, so many people sent in super chats and, and so forth with really nice comments on there. Black Rose 11. Uh, Kathy's been here with us from early on, and she's, you know, Josh has been a good friend to her and to everybody. Uh, that's that's here in the chat. Most of the people are from Periscope and from YouTube. Ron, could I just say one more thing? Yeah, please. Sure. Um, 
guess that you know we all you and i knew what was going on and a few others right we kept it it was the hardest thing in the world to keep that a secret so yesterday i did a live stream fireside chat and i did it because for me sometimes live streaming is uh, a comfort when i'm having a conversation i'm trying to help other people because that's what i'm about that's what my channel is about so here i am i have 30 40 people in the chat you were in that chat too ron and all of a sudden what do i see i see stream labs bot going off you know talking about my website talking about you know support anything and what are, and the first thing that came to my mind i saw josh every single time that stream labs bot went up it was josh he was there and i and i and it was so hard i wanted to say it so badly but i couldn't yeah you know so just remember this josh will always be with us why because every time we see that stream labs bot it's because josh created that bot he's yeah. always with us there's nothing on my channel your channel even police off the cuffs channel that doesn't have josh's name all over it so um, again, a heavy loss uh, and a good friend, but a heavy loss for a talented, talented young man that was ready and willing to help everybody and anybody, no matter what. He would spread himself really thin. There were some things that he took on that he couldn't, you know, he couldn't do it all at once. And, and so he would have to take his time. But I want to just say, uh, you know, so so many people that are in here with these wonderful messages and, and saying sorry for your loss and all of this. Thank just, you. It means so much to, to all of us. Ed, were you able to get that? There was more in the private chat. Did you see it? The link? It was access denied. Okay. All right. No problem. Um, all right. So Ron, if, if you may, if I may, I just want to say a prayer real quick because yeah. um, I, I gotta, I gotta leave. Okay. Um, let's all bow our heads and pray, please. Eternal rest grant until Josh, O Lord, and may perpetual, may perpetual light shine, shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. 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 Father, Son, Amen. Holy Spirit. Thank you. For you that. all pray whatever God, whatever prayers you'd like to pray. And I know there's multiple religions out here, so please say a prayer for Josh and his family. Joe, you wanted to say a little prayer. Yes. Or do you want to wait to the end, Ron? Okay, we'll wait to the end. That's fine. Let's wait till the end. Okay. All, All right, right, guys. Ed, thank you for being here. Thank you, Ed. Thank, thank you, brother. Thank All you. right. Thank Take you. care. All right. There goes Ed Wallace. He's had a heck of a day, and I appreciate yeah. that he's here with us. All right. So, um, Kristen, I want to bring her in because this is another part of the unbelievable um, coincidence of this this thing called life is really sometimes it makes you shake your head, right? Five months yeah. ago, I brought Kristen in to help as like assist Josh in trying to relieve him of some of the tasks that he he was doing so many things, not just for me, but for police off the cuff. So five months ago, I introduced Kristen to Josh and I wanted them to work together. And Josh, after 30 days, was to report back to me and say, hey, you know, this is a go or this is not a go. And Josh gave me like the 100% thumbs up on for Kristen. He said she's <clears throat> capable, talented, and would be an asset to the community. And um, all I had to do is hear that from Josh. But I never thought in my wildest dreams that five months later he would be gone, that he would have passed away. None and, of us thought that. And and but this is where God works in mysterious ways because Kristen is ready, willing, and able to take take that torch and to keep the legacy of Josh going on Crime Time with Duty Run because Josh trained her. Josh was doing things. Kristen will tell, will tell you guys. Josh was showing her things. Like, almost like he knew that she was, that she might be put in this position. And so, Kristen, oh, she's, I'm sorry, Kristen, but it's I had okay. to tell I had to tell that story. And if you want to expand on it, um, I just I mean, again, it was something that I was doing to try to relieve him of lots of 
smaller duties and to try to break it up between two people instead of one person doing it all. Okay. So, yeah. First, can I ask, can you guys hear me? Because I wasn't part of mic check and, um, you know, I'm, I'm part of glitch check today. Yeah, you're fine. I can hear Your you. Your audio is great. Awesome. Um, hey, everyone. Um, wow, I don't even know where to start. Um, I think most of you are kind of aware of my situation with my husband's health. And um, I had to give up um, and, and, and gladly give up my 17 year career of photography and weddings. And um, I'll tell you when, when Josh and I, the first email he and I ever said to each other, I said, I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is Adobe, all I know is Photoshop, but I'm willing to, you know, to learn anything you want to show me. Um, <laughs> the next email was, what is your problem? You are really good. I had no confidence in myself when um, I had to step away from um, that part of life. And um, he gave me my confidence that maybe I could do something, you know, that would still be creative and impactful and make a difference to so many people because that's what I felt like I did when I was a full-time photographer and I did voiceovers and things along those lines. Yeah. I never would have thought that four months later i would have the opportunity to carry on someone else's legacy um this man <laughs> he joked i'm a little older than him um we joked that uh you know us 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 creatives have to stick together um and i guess i'm just i'm amazed um, Ron came into our life right as we found out Chris was sick. Joey, you just shortly after. Um, and I truly believe everything does happen, not for a reason, but for why it's supposed to happen. We meet the people that we're supposed yeah. to meet. And they are our chosen family. Um, yeah. You know, my blood family, there's about six of us. But these individuals that you see here are my family. Um, I love, you, I love you, We love you. We love you. Kristen. We love you. We love you. He was my mentor. I wish to God I'd had a hell of a lot more time with him. Um, I'm not eloquent tonight. Mainly, I uh, I work today trying to make something. I don't know if it'll play, but Ron, do you want me to try it, or do you want me to wait till tomorrow? Uh, well, well, let's wait for a little okay. a little while because I have Jennifer Nobles from Bakersfield, California. Uh, she's in the, she's down, and and Matty <laughs> too. Um, I want to add him in. Oh wait, <clears throat> Jen Jen dropped out, but she was in. And I saw her adjusting her glasses. I don't see Maddie anymore. I, I want to add him to. The, oh, there he is, my brother, <laughs> Maddie Boy Sully. How are you? I'm, hey. I'm hearing an echo. On there. Can you hear me? Yes, I, 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 I tried to. I stepped away from the other because I'm on two devices. Listen to you on YouTube and this one. Yeah, you gotta shut off the YouTube one. Okay, hold hold on one sec. Let me cut that one off. Hold on, buddy. I had to mute him. Now, all right, all right. you're better. Me, now you're better. me and Joshua always talked about Jack Daniels. Always. New ones, old ones. So this is an Irish thing, a soldier thing. So nobody yell at me. Hello. Okay. You pour a little bit out for the fallen and take a swig. But he always with the Jack Daniels. Hey, did this one come out? Did you did you hear about this one? <laughs> I was like, no. And he would tell me, I'm like, no, I'm gonna go look it up. Look it up. Oh, hey. And then we always used to text back and forth the Discord. Yeah. He was big but on the Discord. He was as funny as hell sometimes. Right. Everybody and Rod, you know, on Discord. Maddie, everybody in the chat is cheering with look at look at all the beer mugs. Love that. I'm at, I'm at the office, so only Diet Pepsi for me. Yeah, and I got a water. Cheers to Josh. I got a water. But, I have an iced tea. Maddie, you are so right. Uh, Josh would hang out in the in the um, in the Discord all hours of the night 
we have so many different eras of when we had all the different groups of people and people would drop off and come back and we lose some, we gain some. But Josh was always there to be a friendly, welcoming voice. And 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 that's what I yeah. love about this. And you know, Joey, Joey and Matt, you you can attest to this. When I did that, um, when we did the Google um when we did the Google video on what was that Tuesday Wednesday morning, I couldn't even hold my composure. I was mm-hmm. hysterical crying uh for Josh. But when I hit the go live button tonight, I don't know what the hell happened, but I got this overwhelming peace over me. And 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 my wife can tell you, Joey, um, Janine can tell you, I was on edge all day today. Like I, I was easy I all freaking day because I was dreading, <clears throat> I was dreading having to come live and say that we lost that we lost Josh. Josh is uh, Josh is giving you the strength, Ron. He really is from above. He is He's giving us yeah. the strength, and yeah, he wants you to move forward and become the biggest YouTuber out there. He wants that. We're going to continue on and we're going to, we're gonna, you know, again, we're going to get back to it, but there's going to be a period of mourning where I, like I told you today, Joey, I'm just not feeling it. I I'm, hate not, it. I'm still not feeling it. I don't know when I'll be able to get back to regular true crime <laughs> stuff. But again, right now, my focus is to support his family. We always talk about supporting the victims and their family, right? Josh is not a victim. Um, nope. We're, support, we're here no. to support his family. We're here to support his family. His family. Uh, Jennifer Nobles, our good friend from Bakersfield, hey, California. She's she her Hi, mic Jen. Is muted, but um, it looks like looks like she's somewhere. And Jen. Okay. Hi. Right. Hey, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Joey. Hi, Ed, and not Roy. Um, so, so I want to say first, before you go, Jen, I want to just say thank you for once I messaged you in the you know, middle of this week, you have oh. been in our group chats um, the, the whole week and given support and prayers. And you're at Bakersfield, California. That's where Josh lived. We didn't even know that he lived in Bakersfield, California. We knew he was in California, but he was right in your backyard. So I want to say thank you. I love you. And I love the support that you gave all of us uh, this week. Hey, can one of the mods do me a favor? Can you take L E A D E R out of chat, please? Okay, go ahead, Jen. I don't know. I may I didn't hear anything you said. I may have to go. I'm using earbuds for the first time off of your recommendation. So of course this is gonna uh, I am gonna have technical difficulties as usual. Oh goodness. Um but I, I just wanna say thank you for you for for you being here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, for sure. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, Josh has been a big part of the boys, you know, with our, you know, Oren and Orson West here in Classic out in Bakersfield. And now I'm seeing even now more than ever why he was so um, everything and anything that it had to do with that case. He was over the top with it and he was ready willing and able to at the drop of a of a you know like as soon as i give him a call he'd be like boom right on it so it, it's his hometown this is where he was living for the past several years um and you know i never asked him exactly where he was i always assumed he was in oakland or somewhere in northern california somewhere you know um but it, right. it, it's amazing that you find things out afterwards you know yeah yeah, yeah no kidding yeah so I'm guessing that Jennifer can't hear, me, hear us, hear us, even with the earbuds in. I can hear you guys perfectly fine right now. All right, good, good. There was like the couple minutes before it started doing some weird, you know, robot stuff, so I couldn't hear it. But now I can hear you guys great. So hopefully I'm good. Good. Yeah, so uh, for me, I didn't know, you know, Josh personally or on a you know level like that. But um, you know, being in your guys' chat and um, over the last what over three years now in the chat and seeing Josh, Doctor, come on and, um, you know, he'd say very, you know, little here and there and, you know, just, you know, like in the background, like behind the scenes, I knew that he had, you know, a larger part of your whole entire community and, you know, just knowing you and talking to you on a personal level anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously he meant a lot and he's a great guy and at 37, he's extremely young. I mean, I'm much older than that at this point and, um, yeah, it's just sad. It's, it's, um, 
it's, it's too young. It's, it's definitely too young. But um, I, I do want to say that the the time that he passed at 11:11 on 11:11 is pretty significant and um, on Veterans Day and everything, and, and that he was an organ donor and he can he can help you know others live on like you were saying. And you know, I mean, I just think about all the the details. Of every organ, excuse me, I'm sorry, every organ that he had left in him to, to donate um, has helped. Who knows at this point, you know, what child, what mom, what dad, what niece, nephew, uncle, any, you know, anybody that has helped. But I can tell you from knowing somebody that was an organ donor, it's substantial, <clears throat> substantial amount of people that he's helped. And um, that's a legacy that cannot be forgotten. And, and he lives on in others um, from here forward, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well said, Jen. You know, like I, like you said, some of us didn't know him on levels that Joey, myself, Kristen, Excuse Maddie. Me, Ron, I don't mean to interrupt you, but um, his sister actually is in the chat. All right, well, um, I don't want to pronounce her name wrong, um, but Miss Castillo... I do see you, and I do have that information where, Ron, I know this is your sister. Um, and we, I I saw you there, and I wasn't sure, so I did a little sleuthing. Thank you for sharing your brother. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to send you a quick friend request on Facebook. Um, just that one post you made about him is, uh, is beautiful. Um, thank you for coming into the chat. Um, thank you. Thank you for sharing your brother with us. And um, every one of our loves and prayers go out to you. And again, like I said, I'm going to send you a friend request here in just a minute. Um, Ron, I'm going to take myself off screen for a few minutes. Okay. 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 No worries. Um, all right. So, again, I, I just I want to just wow. say thank you to Josh's family for being here um, in the chat. Um, and, and again, I, I have... Very little contact. It was, it was just me and Josh is what, it was what the conversations were. So I don't have any solid way of confirming who or what. It's, it's his, his uncle Mike is who I've been communicating with all week long. Uh, but we send nothing but prayers, strength, and positive vibes to them. Amen. Um, here to support them um, and, and do what, we, what needs to be done to you know help support this family through a very, very difficult time. 37 years old, 37 years young. I like to say that 37 years young. Um, nobody wants to bury their child, you know, and his mom had to fly from out of state to come in. His sister had to fly from out of state to come in and, um, and take care of this. And it's just so, so, so devastating to any family. So devastating. Um, Joey, I, Maddie, I'm sorry. I, I uh, muted you. It's just, there was some noise in the background. So I just wanted to. No, you're fine, Ron. But I got your back. No Matt. problem, buddy. Don't, don't worry about it. It's all good. Yeah. So again, um, Josh, the Hernandez family and extended family, we, we were sending prayers and, um, Josh has been nothing but family to us, his online community. We, we love and respect um, you, know, you guys tremendously and, and, and we're going to do whatever we can like I said going forward um, a lot of love here a lot of love yeah. here in the community and look at how many people have come out to leave uh, kind words and, and, and thoughts and like Black Rose uh, I know that she had so many conversations with them and I want to share something else with you guys is that you know, in 2020, when we were all on this COVID lockdown here in the United States and, and, and across the world, uh, Josh and I would do a lot of video chatting. And on April 26th, uh, actually April 25th, which is my son's birthday, um, we were in the backyard during COVID, April 2020. You know, we, we got locked down on St. Patty's Day. Um, so it was, you know, shortly thereafter, and we we're all in the backyard because you really couldn't do anything, couldn't go anywhere. Everything was closed. Everything was like shut, locked down. Uh, and Frankie, my my youngest, it was his birthday, April 25th, and he was on his laptop and had the headphones on. He was gaming in the backyard, and I showed on the video to Josh, Frankie, 
And he and I said, yeah, say happy birthday to Frankie. And he goes, tell Frankie to say happy birthday to me. It's my birthday. We share the same birthdays. And Joey. Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> I'm not going to go any further, but I'll leave it to you. But here we are. N more connections evidence and coincidence. More connection. Right. Connections. Deep yep. connections. So my son shares April 21st with Josh, and here's other people like Darlene saying my son's birthday is April 25th, too. And guess what, Ron? You know, my it's my son's birthday, too, April I, I 25th. Say, I know that you're private. It's a, it's a connection. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's okay. the truth. And, and listen, I believe in this. I believe in it. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. The funny thing is, my son's birthday is today. I didn't what? Maddie, say that again. We didn't it is hear today. You. Oh, your son's birthday is today. It's today? Wow. Yep. Oh. Yep. And you're talking about the birthday. Weird. Wow. Wow. Talking Surreal. about full circle, right? Yeah. So I'm highlighting this comment. Uh, Castillo, Castillo, I love Castillo. my brother so much. And we love them too. Yeah. He, we he, love them too. He was a great yes. man, your brother. I'm going to say one more, I'm going to tell one more story about Josh. Um, my wife during COVID was having problems with her remote. She was doing remote working as many people were and um, something happened with the computer and she was having a problem with the computer and the girl who does the computer, um, you know, repairs and, and, and troubleshooting was not available at her company. So what did I do? I went and I called Josh. I got Josh on the line and he remoted into my wife's computer and he fixed it. During wow. Um, and I was like, Josh, can I send you something? Can I, you know, can I, can I send you something? He's like, no, I, I, I just love to do this. You know, I love to, you know, um, to help other people. And that's, that's the kind of guy he was. Um, I want to show a couple more little bits of this uh, members only that uh, we did. Let me add this to the stage. So this is me in the studio uh, playing around with Josh um, with programs. And Maddie, you were in this chat. Um, so let's let this play. This is from, I believe, two years ago. Amazing. Branded account. We this could, is I have access. Yeah, this is not I would good. have access to yeah, this. Yeah, this is no good. I can't do it like this. Having problems. I was, I was having I technical tried difficulties. Tried to post the link, and then I had to do it twice. Didn't didn't even take the first time. I think I think this time it took, but I'm not sure. It worked. We're in. We're live. Members only. Yeah, Josh does the takeover now. I mean, it does. Welcome everybody. Welcome to my show, the Josh's <laughs> show. Where I have my special guest, Duty Ron. <laughs> Josh isn't doing a takeover, um, but and I don't even see like it's not showing me the amount of time that we've been live, which is something I'm used to seeing. Um, show chat. Hey Gemma. Oh Jen's here. All right, so we're just testing. Right away, Jennifer Payton comes in. Is like hello? Question mark. Uh, hi Gemma. Hey, hey guys. Thanks for coming. Uh, we're just testing a new streaming software that we're um, going to be using. So good Saturday afternoon, morning, or Sunday. I think in the UK it's close to Sunday. Uh, it's late at night, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, we're testing one, two, three. And Josh is behind the scenes doing all kinds of stuff. So I could show the comments. This is a new um, a new. It's it's highlighting Matt Sully's comment, but for me, it's not. It's like faded out, Josh. I don't, I don't know if you could see that. So let's see. How do I show this on stream? Yeah, it's it's coming through very light on on the uh, on the stream. Uh, so let me see. Weird. Can't see the person's message. I see the profile picture. Good, but I can't see. Says happy Saturday afternoon from Jennifer, but that's no good because I definitely can't see that. Well, um, I'm going to move it forward because there's some funny parts to this, and I have it, 
I actually have it time stamped 2620. All right. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's uh, general discussions. Um, so YouTube is, 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 is enhancing their stuff. But um, Ron does an extra step for you guys to see this. He actually posts it directly to his community tab so people can join. Um, so it takes a while for people to find notifications. Um, and it's nothing Ron can really improve on. It's something YouTube has to do, uh, which they are doing. But um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and post in the uh, a Discord invitation link. And since you guys are all members, uh, you get access to it. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's uh, general discussions. We're going to grow it out eventually. But for now, we're going to keep it very simple, very minimal. Uh, a, ch a chat room where you guys can talk about uh, various topics from movies to, you know, true crime um, in an organized manner. No drama. Uh, if you if you. You will get blocked if you do something bad. Like right. We're not going to. I don't think anyone's going to do anything bad, but th that's just, you know, that goes without saying. Um, is there a high pitch sound coming from Duty Ron's mic? Because two people have said that um people are saying it looks a little blurry that you need to go to your four little dots on the screen second one down you hit advanced advanced you guys uh support um yeah josh changed all right coloring yeah we just changed the color to blue because I, I agree red is not the best color we're just we're testing stuff out so like your your feedback you guys are members you guys uh support ron and the community and so we're trying to enhance everything. So right. to do that, we take a lot of time on weekends and late nights. <laughs> and, um, weekends and late nights. Happens. Yes. So did it All right, so I just wanted to play a little bit of what Josh would do with me for hours on end. Um, that was yeah. that was great to hear Josh's voice. That yeah. was great. And I have hours of this. Totally. I have hours of testing with Josh um, on on members only, and I, I mean, I, I'll I'll download yeah, all this. Me. I'll download all of this stuff, and I'll here, here's a little bit more of him. And I'll I'll share this with his family. I All know, right, I awesome. know most of them. So I still have control of this of the thing. Um, yeah, so we are testing out some software, right? And test out some stuff. It breaks, right? That's Maddie. I had to mute him. Not saying that is what happened, but I'm saying is it may have happened. <laughs> so we'll see if he rejoins us. Uh, we're, we're using a whole bunch of software, so right? So there's a whole bunch of backend it's stuff that we're there. doing to make sure um, we can test out stuff. And I, so I'm like connected into his computer and stuff and all kinds of stuff. So it's uh, it's a little bit more complex. And uh, so, yeah, we expect this to happen. So you guys joined a test. Like this is what we do. We're testing. We're trying to break it. And then we're seeing what is the best part of it. And then we do the best parts um and ron is doing it to be able to really do a really cool charity um stream this is what he was and talking about the that, we got to test charity. it out we got to break it we got to um let me see i have a couple more spots that i want to do it um 38.45 let me see. I'm going to look at my stepmom's. Just a test stream. Um, we got hail to just throw a top over my truck. It's, yeah, I'm not, I'm not running out there. It's, it's, Maddie it seems about pretty nasty. Um, <laughs> let me see what fiber. They do it or widgets? Uh, alert box. So oh, this is it. 58 minutes of just me and Josh talking about enhancements. Basically, you know me. I'm, I'm, I'm challenged. 
Uh, uh, give me a minute. Anyways, um, so back to what I was saying. Uh, so tonight I'm going to probably go live uh, with those guys. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Michael, Scott, and the office. You go and watch the. You don't know. Like, a little button. Hold on. I'm just backing it up. Just, just the layout. Bag to reorder. No. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, they don't let me do that. Here just we go. Going back. Whoa. What happened? Whoa. All right. Let's see. Yeah, now you're a little. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of different things that we could do um, with this. Josh is back. All right. Cool. I appreciate that. Um, testing. And it looks like it says I can suggest a layout. Like I can change. Let me see. It says others. Enable up to. Okay. So there's a couple of different things. This is really cool. Um, and if I refer somebody to this, I get $10. The person gets ten dollars off, and I get ten. I didn't. That's a little. Um, so, you're testing with me, Matty boy. I always can count on you. you you're not afraid of anything because you're a marine. Uh, What's there be afraid of? You, you can only die once. There you go, brother. Death and taxes. We can't. We can't. Uh, we can't get away. Can't from get around them. them. No. Uh, all right, brother. Thanks for thanks for joining in. That's Matty boy Sully. Um, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Maybe they'll see you later. There's only I have that much trust in this development company. Like <laughs> I, I really do. I could see you saying it with a little smile on your face, like saying, "Yeah, <laughs> I really don't know shit about this <clears throat> company." But um, I'm scared now that the weather will be crazy. I'm, I'm going to hit end. Watch this. Listen to this. Intros, outros. So I, I would just hit outro, and it would end it, or no? And it ends, or just hit end. Uh, end. It's all automated for you, Ron. Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna hit end. end. Josh, let me know after. Josh, are you sure? Nope. <laughs> so this this is 54 minutes of fun, like 54 minutes of us going back and forth. Total. This is totally what we do behind the scenes <laughs> but on so many different levels maddie was there this is great it was yeah. two years ago uh we, we were setting up for the equisearch midwest fundraiser um so this is this is the kind of stuff that we do um with josh and it's hundreds and thousands of hours of uh planning and you know chris and i just added you back in because i see that you're back i, I well, see all the families in here. Uh, uh, Uncle Mike sent me a text message and said that he shared this video. So, yes, portions of the family are here. Um, his sister, his, I saw his mom in the in the chat uh, talking as well. So, uh, again, prayers, strength, and positive vibes go out to the, you know, Hernandez family. And all of you guys are in our thoughts and prayers. And, Joey, I want to end this now with you uh, taking us out with a prayer. Okay. I know everyone has different faiths and different religions, so I'm going to do it the way that I was taught as a Christian, as a Catholic. So it's the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy I kingdom mean. come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. <laughs> As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for being here tonight, including Kristen, Maddie, um, Jennifer Nobles, uh, the EquiSearch team, Ed Wallace, and all of you guys in the chat. You know, again, Josh has been not only a, an important part of this community, but also a very important part of our friendships, yes. our online friendships. And Josh has been nothing but a complete gentleman. With everybody and a friend extending that olive branch to everybody in in a way of his talents 
the most, I, I would say the most talented person that I've ever met online uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, content creation, creativity, uh, knowledge, and just, again, he's, he's a class act. He's going to be sorely missed by us all. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here. I saw Dave in Osaka in Japan joining us. Um, people from around the globe that are friends of Josh. Uh, so thank you for you all being here. Uh, and I want to highlight some of these comments uh, going out to the Castillo family, telling people, to, telling everyone, uh, all of them to stay strong. Dawn Marie is in the chat. Miss Donna Marie. Um, so, so many, so many people in the chat that are just wonderful. So, and and thank you, um, Kristen, for going and, and reaching out to the family and 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 friending them uh, on on the social media. I'll do the same thing. I mean, I have an open line of communication with the family here. So, um, I'll be honest. I I actually haven't been on Facebook in so long. It said ninety nine plus notifications. Oh so um, I think the last time I actually went on was probably about two and a half months ago. So uh, please don't think I, I'm on Facebook all the time, but um, I'm, I'm grabbing information and I'll pass it forward. Yes. So okay. no one try to reach out to me. There is what I'm saying is I will ignore it. I, I can't stand, can't stand let, it. Sorry. Let me, let me acknowledge some of these starred chats. Oh. I want to start with this. Uh, Lauren uh, uh, Vandever, thank you for your condolences. Uh, Miss Donna Marie says, rest in peace, Josh. Thank you for that. And thank you for being a channel member for 24 months. Kel, member for eight months, says prayers for Josh and his family. Uh, thank you for that, Kel. Black Rose 11, who's been a member for 33 months on Crime Time with Duty Ron, she said, Josh, prayers, 1111. We adore you. Thank you for that. Uh, Kara, thank you for becoming a member. KDF says, I'm so sorry to hear about Joshua. Much love and prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Uh, I'm just trying to mute the mics on, on the noise. If you guys can mute your mics, I appreciate that uh, while I'm reading this stuff. Robbie from Australia says, rest in peace, Josh. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Um, Robbie, again, coming back. Hello, all my condolences from Australia. Thank you. Katina, member for five months. She's been around in Patreon much, much longer. So thank you for your support. We've all been blessed by Joshua's talent enthusiasm and generosity amen to that uh i couldn't agree with you more uh cheryl thank you for being a member she says prayers to Josh's family and friends yeah it's not just obviously we we support everyone that's grieving and his friends and his immediate family are uh first on all of our minds uh thank you for being a member gazella a cd he will live on through those he helped through his organ donations. Amen to that. Amen. Robbie, thank you for wiping out your wallet tonight. He says, for Joshua's family. Thank you for that super chat. Christy uh, Madsen became a YouTube member. We appreciate you. Here's Dr. Ed and Julie, Dr. Moskowitz in Pocatello, Idaho. He says, and I know this is Julie writing this, blessings to all of you brothers and Josh's family. Prayers, hearts, rest with God. Josh. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ed. Dave in Osaka is uh, throwing out some J Japanese yen to us. He says, my condolences to everyone in the Duty Ron family. Rest in peace, Josh. And, and Dave in Osaka has known Josh probably since 2016. And, and I see Joey shaking his head there. Thank you. Um, and thanks for the muting of the mic. So this way I, I can just get this across. Uh, Rachel Chandler, thank you for becoming a member. Jennifer Nobles, uh, 31 members as a platinum member. She says, my deepest condolences to Josh's family and friends. I hope you know how much he meant to the Duty Ron community. We come together and support. Please let us know how we can help you all. Josh will be missed by us all. Amen to that, sister. Um, I am going to open up my PayPal or Venmo and Cash App. I have them all listed in the description of this video. If you want to contribute to Josh's family, you could just simply send um, support there and just list it as Josh. You could just put Josh, Josher, whatever you want, and I will make sure that that gets put 
get, uh, gets over to his family. Uh, and I'm working with his uncle on the proper way to get that over to him. So please, everybody, make sure you, um, if you can, even a dollar, it helps the family. And I appreciate that tremendously. All right, folks, on behalf of Crime Time with Duty Ron and Ed Wallace and our entire community here, let's unpack that. Joey, you guys can unmute your mics if you want. Maddie boy. Um, we're, we're sending, again, strength, prayers, and positive vibes to Josh's family, to all who were here in the chat who will be watching the replay, and we'll be in touch with them throughout the course of this. As the funeral arrangements are made uh, public, I will put it out in community posts uh, on my various social media outlets. Um, and again, let's support this family. Let's get around them because Josh is um, and what was. he would have done. Yeah. Yeah. This is what he would want us to do. And, and, yeah. and this is what he would have done. He's been with me for seven years and we've lost a lot of great people along the line, along the way. And Josh was always there to support, to make posters, to make banners, to do whatever needs to be done. So amen to that. 100%. Oh, oh before now, we're just getting ready to wrap up. And guess who came in? Tori Hartman. Um, so Josh helped Tori early on, long, long time ago, when Tori and I oh, you know, would always do collaborations together. And as we know, as I am technically challenged, it was Tori. Um, and Josh was always there to try to help. Uh, I'm still, to this day, technically challenged. So without further ado, I want to introduce Tori. Tori, this is all on my Hi, Tori. Here. Hi, Tori. Hi, let's talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, no, I change my name frequently. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I have to tell you, it was really, it, when you said Josh, I was like thinking, you know, when you said, he messaged me and he said, Josh is gone. I went, where'd he go? <laughs> I was like, and then it like hit me. I was like, oh my gosh. You know, and it started to just come in. And I'm like, I kept saying, what happened? And I had a, I, I put, typed it in chat, but I had a memory about, um, about Josh because he was always so secretive. Okay, so I had to use this special app to call him, and I was like, "Okay, all right, I think <laughs> I've got line, it." Sideline. <laughs> yep. So I would message him on this other thing and go, "What's that name again?" And he would be like, <laughs> be "Like, I'll call you." I'm like, "You can't because I don't, I don't have it open." And it was like, he was just always like very secretive and you know very I spy about stuff, and I was like as long as it gets done. And I don't know what he did, but he would just like, and I go, how are you? He'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm almost there. And I'm like, okay. And I have to tell you, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have ever figured out how to stream because yeah. he literally was like, sorry, these glasses are like, oh, there we go. Um, he, he literally was just a whiz at it. And it's, it's funny. I was really having challenges getting in tonight. And I just thought, that's so funny like it's a fun it's a funny that josh is kind of playing in a way like yeah you know and i i kept seeing i think that that he was extremely sensitive and um something that really came forward to me is just the and i know we haven't talked about this much but i think so many people feel a profound loneliness right now and i think josh had that too and I think that, you know, even if you have people that love you in your life and lots of friends and, you know, it, 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 there's something about what's happened in the last few years where we just all everything that we thought we were going to do has shifted. And uh, I just think that it's not only is it tragic that he's gone, but I, I kind of feel like he was very displaced in a way if that makes any sense, um, because he, he was just so sensitive. And um, it's it's ironic because I can I can almost see him around his computers, you know, mm -hmm. um, I just have this visual of him around his computers. And yeah. I was thinking about that, you know, about he that's where he like he he soared. Do, do you know, he just really and. I kind of feel like he's still on that frequency. If that that was his outlet. It was, and he he was very. Um, 
he, he it's not that he didn't have a use for people it's that he he loved helping people through this gift yes and i remember i was going through a hard time and i was like josh i mean i you know because i was like gosh how much is it he said don't worry about it yeah Right. And, you know, we had it open. I paid him off, you know, by meaning I did pay down the bill, but he was just always very, what do you need? What do you need? I can help you. Let me fix that. And it's so funny. I can't, I can't attach my stream yard to the right account. And I'm like, I just had to laugh. And I went, okay, Josh, I get it. Like I've got to learn this. And I was just talking to him and going, this isn't funny. Now get me on here. Okay. And it was like, immediately it was like, <laughs> okay, I'll press that button. And here I am. I was trying to get on for almost 40 minutes. And oh I was like, goodness. this isn't funny. Like, you know, you you know, Judy Ron and Joey, I know you know too. But, you know, people come and talk to me, particularly after they're, you know, when they just die. And so it's funny because now that it's in my consciousness, it's like, you know, um, I just feel like he feels very free. He feels very badly that he had to, he left the way he did though. He, he, he didn't like leaving the way he did. Um, but, and I don't know what happened. I don't know the particulars of it, but he just, he, uh, he kind of felt like a, don't I ever get to say goodbye? You know, like that kind of like, and, and I really feel like it's, it's like his computers. There's a continuum. It, they, it just doesn't die. Yeah. You know, um, look at, you know look at, because, yeah, look at that. I love it. I love it. My dad said that to me, you know, no one ever dies if we remember them. Yeah, That's amen. my thing. Yep. And no one know, is ever gone as long as it, you remember it, them and have your memories. Because we remember him by his kind acts. See, it, it wasn't that we that we really knew Josh. I think we really he helped us realize our own shortcomings and he was there to help yeah. us with them. And um, he, he would catch you if you fell, he just wouldn't let you give up. And I remember that he was such a fan of yours to Ron. He really was. He, he just, you know, whenever we'd go get on, you know, and he and I were early days, right? This was back when you and I were early days. And he'd right. say, yeah. have you talked to Ron? Have you talked to, you know, how's he doing? I'm like, he's fine. You talked to him more than me. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> he's like, but what I wanted to say is that, um, about the computer thing that he um, he really feels that there was more for him to do. And so I do feel like somebody, he's passing it on to someone. I don't know who it is, but somebody is going to show up and it, it's, it's someone who has that talent. And, you know, he's saying, don't give up on yourself and your talent. He's really adamant about that. And I want to just you know, that's a very important message that I feel from him. This and, comment right here is highlighted because it's Josh's mom. Oh. I told my kids oh. you can keep it. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You no, know, I want to say one other thing about that, that, you know, no one dies if you remember them. And that is... My father had said that to me, and I remember he, you know, before he died, he left out flags of our fathers, you know, the, because he was like, read the book. And I was like, okay, I'll read the book. But he, he, when I was little, there was an actor named Francho Tone, and he, Papa and Francho in the 50s were friendly, and they, you know, they hung out together. But I remember before my father died, he said, do you remember Francho? Because Francho was married to Joan Crawford for a little while. And I said, barely, Papa. You know, didn't he give me the white lamb when I was two? And my dad said, oh, a great actor. And all you remember is the lamb. <laughs> so after he passed away, I, I decided I'm going to, after my dad passed away, I decided I'm going to take an improv class. I was living in Los Angeles at the time and I signed up. And of course, they're always over the dirty lingerie stores. Do you know what I mean? Like on Hollywood Boulevard. That's always where these classes are held. <laughs> and like standing in front of the, you know, the, the, it hadn't, um, somebody had lost the key and it was the first week of the, uh, of the improv class. And I'm standing there and everything on Hollywood Boulevard is those stars, you know, the walk of, of the, the stars. And we're waiting and waiting. And I look down and it says Francho Tone. Mm. And of all the places for me to stand. Wow. And it was that message that, you know, that that he was there. And, and we don't forget people, um, even if our memory of them is that that, you know, in a sense, the white lamb, you know, that moment of like 
who is that per oh you know and i mean joe Craw joan crawford was was uh responsible for the formation of screen actors guild and a lot of people didn't know that because she had the pepsi money and no one would come out and support the actors in those days everybody was like that's ridiculous a guild an, an actors union and of course, it's apropos that it gets settled in the week that Josh dies, right? So the whole, wow. the whole, you know, the yeah. strike got settled. But here's what's interesting: my dad said that Francho told him that it was because of Joan Crawford. No one would support this union, <laughs> and she paid. Uh, well, let me put it this way: there was a hundred thousand dollars in a paper bag left, and the next day the Teamsters came out and supported this unionization of actors right so you know that wasn't like that wasn't like corroborated anywhere but another friend of my dad's before he died said oh yeah that's a true story but not many people know hmm. so you know what i want to say is that kind of that kind of unpacking is the kind of thing that it's it's who it's who josh was we, i don't think we'll ever really know the extent <laughs> of the people he can help yeah he jo joey caught that thanks for saying unpacking it just makes me smile whenever <laughs> i hear that it's <laughs> it could be like the like, most like, random of news stories and they're like oh let's unpack that and i'm like stop i'm here okay. <laughs> you know i think i think the re the reason i i felt compelled to reach out to you tori is because mm -hmm. Like you said, early on when I started my YouTube journey, thanks to Joey pushing me, and then um, it was not just Joey. I needed someone to give me the technical advice and mm. to give me all of my graphics and get me to where I am now, and Josh was responsible to, for doing that. But right. along the way, he helped so many as we moved up, right? And you were one of the early ones, uh, Tori, and I, and I felt compelled to reach out to you because I thought it was – what josh would have wanted you know he wanted me yeah. to reach out and and he joey he used to follow this guy the flash p -L the flash or whatever flesh yeah the flesh i reached out to him too to try to get him because josh that was one of josh's favorite guys to watch because of the techno music and all the stuff that he did on twitch and on he Dark was a techie flesh too right so they gamed online together and josh was vocal with me about the flash and I reached out to him. He's in Canada, and I, ne I didn't. I didn't hear back from him. I reached out to him today. Mm. Um, it cost me ten dollars American to to, to reach out <laughs> to him because that's the only way I could get him is through a, a PayPal. Uh, but I wanted him to know because Josh um, did a lot of work for him early on, uh, and and Josh has helped many unknown people to us because. I didn't track what he was doing, but I can tell you this, that if you needed a hand and you needed to be helped, Josh was there for you. He's and saying something else. I want to be super clear. I just want to jump in on this because he's very grateful that he didn't lay there forever. He's very, he did not want to lay there forever. It wow. was very much his wish that it was unplugged. Tori, I'm not trying to interrupt you, but Ron, I'm seeing some of the comments. I don't think some people know who Tori is. Oh. And and so maybe if we just like, Tori, oh. can you give a like a 10 second who you are, what you do? Because oh, yeah. That's um, going to yes. make a lot more sense to individuals than, than also, not understanding yeah, the concept. Again, for those who are coming in, Tori is someone who Josh really helped with her. Uh, with her YouTube and, and her online journey. And we but started ahead. basically together, Duty Ron. I mean, you and I started together. So um, it, basically, I got very interested in the Chris Watts case at the time. And I just, it was un unraveling at the time. And um, I did a lot of uh, shows on that. I did different shows on, on you know, various crimes and things. And that's how Duty Ron and I crossed paths. And long story short, I, I am intuitive and i've written some books and decks and all that kind of stuff but i really was more interested in what happens to people why do they get into circumstances that crimes take place and can we look at those and see what what we can do to to like i was talking about when i talked about um shenan and you know so many of us wished we could have like stopped her from walking in the house you know and what were the different elements of it? Not to blame people, but just to get an awareness of like how we, we you know, the awareness really around um, not making the same mistakes and, and what could we do differently? Um, 
And anyway, the point is of all this, that's what I did. And, uh, you know, Duty Ron and I crossed paths a lot. And, you know, I just want to say that I, today I just did a video, which I haven't done in so long. And I'm talking about the Darrell Brooks uh, um, case. Okay. And because that's a whole other thing. But I want to talk about Josh because I, I just want to say that I'm also, I'm psychic and I'm intuitive and I really don't use it much in that way. But sometimes like dead people come and talk to me, you know, <laughs> and it's like, you know, he just, he just said, I got up off that bed the second day. He said, I couldn't stand it. Um, so he's like, he was hovering around. He was not in the body anymore. And he really left around the second or third day. He's saying, I don't know what that means, but um, he's very grateful that he was not left like that. You know, we all say that, you know, who wants to be left somewhere and, right. you know, and he feels like he was found and he was seen and his wishes were heard. I got to so, tell you, I got to tell you, Tori, and I don't mean to interrupt, but please, we interrupt so, each other all the time. Oh. <laughs> I, I gave you no information about this. And I'm going to say this real straight up front. I, I basically told her nothing other than we lost Josh today. The, the text messages are still there. Uh, I didn't give her many details. Um, and, and what she just said here just made the hair on my arm stand up because Tuesday night, um, so he was brought to the hospital on Sunday by his family, by Uncle uh -huh. Uncle Mike. And Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, my time, and that was earlier in California, three-hour difference, Uncle Mike called and told me he's in a medically induced coma, and uh, we don't know if he's going to make it out of it. I went to sleep that night. I was up. And I had to get up at 6 o'clock to go to work in the morning. I, I might have gotten to sleep at 4 a.m. And I, I, my dad has been gone since 2014. My father passed. And Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, I dreamt. And I haven't had a dream about my dad in so, so long. I, I always hope and pray that I'll have dreams of him. Mm. But him, he doesn't come through in my dreams. Uh, my dad a lot, but I had a dream that my father was with Josh. They they are together. That's important that you know. He came through <laughs> to tell you that he was meeting your friend and thanking him. Oh yeah, I told you that. Right? Unbelievable. Yeah, that's right? Three two eight, Ron. That's Three I'm two just eight. Getting that is, and I get truth bumps. You know, I get those like woo, -woo you know. So I get the woo woo going, you know. But yeah, and your dad was very clear about it. He was very very clear that he was glad somebody was there to champion you because he didn't in a way he wanted to. And that was the message. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And that's spot on. It's it. I mean, truly, Ron, really think about what we've discussed. Yeah. Yeah. Tori, I have a gift too, Tori. And I'm, I'm, I have, I'm an empath. I feel people's okay. pain. Yeah. So it's, it's good and it's bad at the same time. Yeah. I, uh, it's you a know. challenge because one of the things that happens with empaths is that you know in in I love going to London because they call them sensitives you know like sensitives right and the thing is is that I'm the same way and I had to work with it you know you have to train it it's like intuition everyone has it right so it's an it's where you place it like you know duty Ron becoming a police officer you train and train and train and train and train and then you forget everything and right there you remember it and you don't know how you remember it but you just know what you're doing and that's that's a form of you know the that energy it's the same energy so if you think about it that's what that's what josh had he he just spent his life almost i feel those antennas went into this it's almost like i see him as a kid it was just something that he found it was like his friend you yeah. know, yeah. Corey, those last two comments are his sisters. So those yeah, last two I, I made a mistake of calling her the mom. And this is the sister because the mom made a, a, a no, no, comment on was, somebody else's account. It was account. the sister. It wasn't the mom. It was the no, sister. No, I, know, she it was funny. I, okay. I know. I know. I want. I looked at the chat, but I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying is, earlier, it's somebody made a comment like I'm the mom, yeah. and and it, and it was on somebody else's account. Wow. So I thought 
you know, that it was that account. But yes, that's his sister. But you um, see, you did save him. You know, I just want to say that you did save him because the thing is, is that we don't know when our time is, right? We pass that anniversary every year and we're never told this is the date you're going to leave, you know? And one thing I learned years ago, and it was a, a reading I had, and I really don't do that kind of reading anymore, but I remember this woman came to me and I was sat down and I'm like, oh, you got to go away because the spirit came and he was just all bloody and blue. And it was her son. And he had died in an accident. I said, did, he, did this guy, is he related to you? Because I see a crash. And, and she was like, yes. And so it was like, then it got kind of real. And I said, one of the things that she had done was she put her life on hold since he died. And I'm not saying you're doing that. Um, but what happened was in the, in the, in that reading was he was very adamant with her. And he said, you know, I was only going to be here for 25 years. This was the time I had. And, you know, I want you to move on because we had that love. We had a, we had it. It was real. And, you know, I want to say that in this in this conversation, that was what he had. And he chose, and this is what the son said to the mother. He said, I chose you. And if I knew you were going to waste your life because I'm gone, I wouldn't have. And he was like pretty direct. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, you know. Wow. But it taught me something and it made me realize we have that finite time and we decide when it's time to go, even though it seems like what you know and i can't explain children i just won't get into that because i it's just hard it's um but you know and and of course josh is somebody's child you know um and and i'm seeing this more and more where people are burying their children you know and that's that's not supposed to happen and i think it's kind of also we're in this fourth turning which is a whole other conversation that's what i was going to talk about you know on my channel is just that idea of the 80 year cycle and every 80 years after that 80 years, we get into some kind of war. So if you think about it, the fourth turning, it's in 20 year cycles. The last one was in 1940. So right after we had the war. So it's kind of like we're in this space right now and some sensitives, if you will, Joey, they can't, they can't, they can't stay. They, they just can't. And, and right. it's not anything personal. Um, and, and uh, you know, one thing I want to say is that Josh is saying he had a good time. He liked his, he's saying something about liquor and all that stuff. He's saying, I liked it. I had fun. I got into it. It, it made me concentrate. So, you know, um, but he really, he's just, he feels bad for his mom. He's worried about her. He's worried about her eating and her health. So he's just saying, I'll be there. Look for the signs. I'm right there. Wow. So he's giving her that message. I want her to have that message because, um, and, and, um, yeah, it's very important. And it's, um, it's very important that she get that, you know, um, she's listening. So, okay. She's yeah. I'm just saying that that's because, you know, the thing, the beautiful thing about this is that he's right there. He's right there. And so when you turn around and you feel him, it's real. You know, I, I want to say that because he's like, I was there standing in the doorway. You were right, you know, <laughs> and, you know, he's just telling her you're right. I was there when you made the decision and I did give you the strength. And he's just saying this stuff, you know, um, but I, I want to just say that this time, if you think about it, it's a rare time when someone who helps you crosses over someone who's impacted your life. It's a wonderful time to open up the light and, you know, I think that Josh just really wants, this is going to sound so strange to say, so forgive me, but it's like, he wants just peace. You know, he just wants, he just wants his mind. He, he, he was really struggling in his brain and he just wanted some peace and some, some, some quiet, but he, um, he's just, he misses his mom and he just yeah. wants her to know that he misses her as much as she misses him. There wow. is a, you know, and he, he, he's also talking about f like flying over, you know, when, when she felt him um, and, and for his sister, he's like, just go have fun. He's like, he's like, you know, um, he said she had a, she, she had a great spirit, you know, with him. So I just feel like there's a lot of that 
energy around um, around everybody. So anyway, we are going on. I'm sorry. No, I, no, no, no. No, I, I don't like to interrupt. Uh, I know, but like that, and I, and I love that you, the, this is your gift and you're giving it to this family and that. Oh, and I just, yeah, I feel for them. I really do because it's like, it just feels like what happened because they're still, they're still spinning, yeah. you know, um, especially when it's sudden, you know, if, if you're kind of expecting it, it's not that it's any better, but it's like, you're expecting it and you're spinning, but when you don't know really what happened, yeah. Um, and he just he said he had a headache and fell. Mm. He had a headache. He said, I had a headache. <laughs> he's very he's but, like, but he's not talkative. Josh was not, you know. No, he wasn't very talkative and he was very private, as you said. You know, he was he was sick um the week leading up to this. And really? um, okay. you know, uh, Sunday night, I, I described this in earlier in the video. Hmm. Um his uncle said that, you know, he was found and um he was, you know, not not well. And they rushed him to the hospital. And once he got to the hospital, he was put into a medically induced coma and never regained consciousness. Yeah, they had so, to do that. Yeah. Uh, blood pressure was an issue. They wanted to do dialysis to help with his kidney function and cleaning his blood, but his, his, um, his heart rate and blood pressure was not strong enough to do the short little bits of dialysis that they wanted right. to do. The low blood pressure. Uh, right. So, um, that's the situation and it's been a, a whole week, you know, five, six days of, um, emotional ro roller coaster for this family. And his mom had to fly in from out of, uh, out of the California yeah. area. And his sister who's here in the chat had to come yeah. and fly in from out of town. So a lot of, lot of, uh, difficult, uh, situations for them. All right, Kristen, what do you, what's going on, Kristen? You're muted. All right, hold on. Oh, now I got to stop it because it's like all in the way. If you so, tell me where uh, it is, I'll find it. Is it? On I know. If you look at your phone. Okay. I sent you links. So these are um, videos from um, Josh's family that I've been sent. Um, so one of them is actually a video of the honor walk um, that he received today. And so they are on TikTok. What, where, Those are TikTok. On how, TikTok. how amazing, though. I just want to say that we are right now in um, in Veterans Day. Right. And so you talk about an honor walk. You talk about like, and he has a lot of history, pride. There's pride in that history. And I want to do a shout out to all veterans today. Uh, you know, Amen. you know, all veterans who went and and served and continue to serve. And, and you know, and, you know, Josh was a, a servant. He would have, you know, he did some of that. He did a lot of things we don't know about. Um, and a I lot know. of so it's interesting on Veterans Day, we're talking about him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, you know, when you get those kawinky dinks, right? I think coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. He's sending out that message and saying it's all coming together. And, and sometimes everybody flying in is because everybody has to reconnect. They have to remember who they are through that, that young man who they separated out and now they got to come back, you know, and, and remember each other. And, because, you know, and you know this, Judy, Ron, family's all we've got, you know, and we have family of choice, too. You know, the people sometimes, you know, Wayne Dyer used to say, um, friends are God's way of apologizing for your family. <laughs> Just, But I think that, you know, Josh was a friend to everybody who met him. And if it, but the way he did it was he always reached out within the circle. So it was your friend that he reached to, you know, it was like, it was always friend of a friend. So he kept his, he kept bringing people into a larger and larger circle. And so before everybody goes to bed tonight, if you're listening to this, just send out some light to Josh and his family and just, you know, bless them and just, you know, ask God to protect them during this time. And, uh, I think the biggest thing I can say is making sense is that he really wants everybody in the family to get along. Now, I don't know who's not talking. I can't say for sure because he's like, don't do it. <laughs> he's like, I'm not going to say, OK, he's like, uh, uh. but he said, please come together and and just put everything aside because we don't know how long we have. You know, don't put off that apology, that conversation that I love you, whatever that is. 
don't put it off because it's finite. We just don't know, you know? So, oh, these are, oh, let's unpack that. She put up some. I'm, yeah, I'm looking to try to find the video on TikTok. Of... No, ah, okay. I actually, so, if you look in our private chat there that we have here in StreamYard in our backyard, or in the you backyard, well, you know, um, those are the two the links. End. The bottom one is the uh, the one from Carmina. Thank oh, you I see the one that's. Out for okay. Thank you you got to give me a second because I got to set it up. Hold on a second. Give me a second, girls. Okay. And again, thank you. Oh, there we go. Thank comments. Y'all are back. Okay. Doing this so quickly. So I didn't see the comments people. before. So, um, All right. Yeah. Hold on a second, guys. Um, me... okay. Fernandez, thank you. All right. I mean, so uh, this, this, is this, is work. this is the Ono walk for Josh. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's recorded by, I, I'm, I'm assuming, his mom. Um, so let me get the volume right. And this is the first time we're listening to it and watching. Just let me know in the chat if you guys can see this on the screen because I had to do some funky stuff to get this going. Uh, everybody in the chat, let me know by putting a one if you could see this on the screen. I want to make sure it is on up and on the screen. This is Josh being wheeled out, um, and I'll let it rip. Let's mm -hmm. see. Today, yes, there we go. One. That's all I needed. Thank mm -hmm. you, Janelle. Thank you. I love you. 11-11. That's interesting. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. Wow, his mom's is that his mom? She's beautiful. Oh, look at the oh. He looks like his mom. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> mm. Oops. I don't know what happened to the music. Yeah, it's but it's great to see it. It's like he is so adorable. Look at him. <laughs> He's very loved. And I, I want to say that his family really loved him. And he loved them. That's that's so evident. No matter time, distance, space, you have to realize in this world, sometimes all we have is the area around us. And he surrounded everyone with love. Mm. He's a beautiful Amen. human being. His spirit is, is gone on its walk now. I'm so grateful that she posted this. i got to make sure I follow her on TikTok. Wow. Well, these are a mother's memories. You know, these are things that, you know, she has that, you know, can never be taken away. Yeah. Because, you, know? yeah. right. you know, he, he, listen, you know, what I can't stand, and I'm going to just say this, is when people come up to you, I know how you feel. Well, we don't know how you feel. Do you know what I'm saying? We really don't know how you feel. We can say that what a tremendous loss, and I can kind of go, I can't imagine. Um and I, I want to say that he, when he's talking about everybody coming together, and it's funny, she said, uh, I think that was his mom who said, oh, he was my firstborn. Yeah, he looks like your firstborn. He has that, you know, but he wanted to strike out on his own and he <laughs> wanted to do it on his own and he wanted everybody to be proud of him. And, but so much of the work he did was secretive. Yeah. That's interesting, right? It was kind of like in a funny way, undercover. You know, he was very protective of his gift. That is true. Um, he, uh, and you know, for me, I, Tori, I'm thinking like a cop. I always thought, well, he was secretive and protective of all of the online stuff because he's trying to keep everything safe, you know, no hackers. Mm -hmm. the, but in a sense, he was he guarded him. I, I, I told the audience here and all of our friends, it, it took me till I met him in 2016. It took me to COVID in 2020 mm -hmm. it, on my son's birthday to find out that my son and Josh shared a birthday. It and, you know, I long. have to tell you that 25th, my dad was April 26th. And his best friend okay. from college, Jack Klugman, 
when my dad died, Klugman called me and said, hey, Alec died. I heard, you know, and I said, yeah, Jackie, you know, just he, he didn't quite make his 80th birthday. It was April 26th. He goes, I was the 27th. So these are like, you know, when numbers show up like that, those are messages. You know, those are things to pay attention to. And I think that somebody said I'm, I'm an empath too. Um, that's very, listen, we're, we're getting very, I think it's getting stronger. We have to tune in because it's the only reality we really have. You know that, Ron. I mean, when you're like, you have to go with gut instinct. You know, men have more of an instinct. Women have more of an empathic, yeah. you know, yeah. that's not to say that, you know, we don't have both, right. but it's right. kind of like the masculine and feminine energy. You know, I'm just looking at this. Did you see his mom's question? No, D, I didn't. Um, I, I'm going to. Was there a question that she had? Because he's. Oh, OK. Oh, your father knew Jack Klugman. Wow. Oh, how funny, Darlene. My, it's funny because um, he and my dad and all my all his life, Papa always said, you know, I was almost the 27th. I was born one minute to midnight. They were born in the same year. And the same like date, but my father said, yeah, I was almost the 27th. Wow. And he was an actor, my father. So it's kind of like I almost did, you know, but they were, they were, they were good buddies from college. Yeah. Um, I want to, I want to, I want to wrap it up because we've been on yeah. an hour and 50 minutes, but Tori, I want to say thank you so much for being here. I mean, your, you know, fr friendship with Josh goes back a long, long time and he helped you. And I thought it was just so great that you could come on and share your perspective. Kristen, thank you for mm -hmm. being here. Joey Brooklyn, Maddie Boy Sully, and everybody that came on. Good time, y'all are a good party. Yeah, you, you, uh, I, I appreciate all the time uh, that you take to come on and and do these things. And and Tori, I, I love you, and I appreciate you being here. Um, Kristen, thank you for all the hard work. We got much more stuff to do to carry Thanks on so Josh's. I have life. some really big shoes to attempt to fill. And, uh, oh. Okay, I just want to answer this for Josh's mom because she okay. said he asked if you can tell her if he said why he pushed her away. And it's 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 not that he pushed you away. That was your experience of it because he knew that he has had to do stuff on his own and he felt too close. You know, and and this is a funny thing with guys. If they get too close, they've got to just you know, and it's very normal. He did not have that time in his life to push you away. So, you know, all boys separate from their mother. He didn't have that thoroughly enough. And he's saying, Ma, I didn't do that. You know, mm. He's like going, no, it was just, you know, because when you have that closeness and suddenly it's gone, it was a shock. But he, he said, I just had to, I just knew that I needed to be that, have that life. And you needed to, to do things. And you do now. He's saying you have important things to do. Don't give up. Mm. He's very adamant about that. And gonna, I, if, I'll if, see if she, soon, if if she I, wants, if she wants to get in touch with you, I'll if if it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah please. I'm very happy. To I was going to say, Tori, can I pass forward your information to the family, and, yeah, and that way maybe yeah. they can reach out to you directly yeah. in this. Yeah, all I'm right, happy to. Great. Thank and it, it, there's it's a, it's an interesting thing because um I just want to say he said I'll see you soon but it's not in our life it's like for them it's five minutes for us it could be 30 years you know so just so you know like when they say that they don't mean okay you're gonna die in 10 minutes <laughs> that's not what they're saying you know it's like that means he'll see you and and he will escort you he will be there at the end but don't rush it he's very he's like don't rush it amen okay, amen I'm in the ghost stand. Again, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Tori. Thank you, Tori. I appreciate it. So and I'm going to end it, on, I'm gonna end it on, on, on my own here. So I'm going to remove you I guys. Know, I was going to say, thank you. I'm getting out of here. Thank you. Thank Night you all. to his family. Thank you to everybody. Um, I'll, I'm going to do my damnedest. That's all I can say. Thank, Thank you, Josh. Kristen. Thank you. All right. Uh, there she goes. Again, I, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who uh, has been in the chat, positively engaging in sending love and support for our great friend, Josh. I know that my life is not going to be the same going forward. Uh, the friendship that I had with Josh and the closeness that I had with him and the, the moments that we shared, I'll cherish forever. And the knowledge that he gave me uh, with his computer and his, his tech skills, 
um, I'll take that to my grave with me. And I want to thank his family and um, everybody who has been a part of this online community for sharing Josh with us for this short period of time. He's spent 37 years of his life on this planet here on Earth. And I think that he's done a lot of really good. Um, and we're not perfect. None of us are perfect. And we all do what we can do while we're here. So I want to remind everybody to be kind to somebody in Josh's memory. Do something nice. Pay it forward for somebody who's in need because you never know what people are going through. Um, so on, on, on behalf of Josh, if you want to do something, do something kind. Extend yourself to somebody. Reach out to a loved one or a family member you haven't spoken with in a while and do it and think about Josh because that's what he'd want you to do. Guys and girls, love and respect from my house to yours, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in, and God bless. I'll miss you, Josh.